What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrail.com. Today we're gonna be checking out the Durabilt chain binders. Now this one's gonna have a removable handle, so I got the handle in my hand right now. You see the chain binder is over here, already got these chains nice and tight. It's gonna be a good way to help you transport this heavy duty stuff and keep it tied down really tight. You see this chain's not moving at all. Let's check it out. If you're using the chain binders, you're gonna use them on construction equipment or even farming equipment, just big heavy duty stuff. So you're going to be using chains instead of ratchet straps, so you're going to need those to be really tight. Now you can't just use a ratcheting mechanism for the chains, that's where the chain binders come in. You hook these two hooks on either side to the chain, you see, and it pulls the two ends together really tight. I can see I can't even move the chain, it's not going anywhere because those chain binders are pulling those two pieces, two sides of the chain together. It gives us a little slack down here, but it's holding it really tight. If you've seen chain binders before, this is probably the one you've seen. You see we got our handle connected to our barrel here, the ratcheting mechanisms in there, so you can easily just go ahead and ratchet it down and get it nice and tight. The thing is, the handle is stuck on there. You can kind of see how it juts out, and it's kind of in the way a lot of the times, and there's nothing you can do about it. And that's what makes this one so much better. See, I've already removed the handle. How much more clearance and space we have here, there's nothing in the way. And then when you go to put this away, and store them, you can store them like that, it stacks on top of each other and they'll be all nice one contained, small profile and whatever you put it in, rather than all the handles sticking out. And if you have multiple ones of these, because you're gonna need it if you're gonna haul something like this, we got four hooked up today, you're gonna have to find a place for all four of these. And if they all have the handle jutting out, that's gonna be kind of hard to fit it into a container or just throw it somewhere. This is gonna be far easier this way and you really only need one of the handles to ratchet them all down. So you're gonna have one of these that you can just store somewhere else. Now you can get these chain binders in a few different combinations. Today we have one handle and one binder. That way we only need this handle with that. If we want to add on to this, we can buy more binders separately. Still use the same one handle because you only need one for each one when you're going to ratchet it down. You can also get a spare handle if you lose this one or you just want an extra one in a secondary truck or just to have in the toolbox just in case you lose one, it's good to have a spare. Or you can buy a kit of one handle and four binders all at once. Either way, you can mix and match in what you need and build what you need with the chains to tie down this heavy equipment. Now before we go to loosen this, we're gonna come down here to the jam nut and kind of thread it down because the whole point of this is being tight is just, it's not gonna go beyond that. It's not gonna come loose on you. It's going down the road. So if there is vibration or any kind of movement with something with suspension, it could kind of loosen this up. But this prevents that having it tied against there. Now with that out of the way, I can bring the handle back down, put it on there. You're gonna put this part around the gear here. You have the paw and that you're gonna engage. That's gonna click in to one of these parts on the gear and allow you to loosen it or tighten it. So let's go ahead and put it on there. And throw that and you can hear it ratcheting and push that back down. There we go. Now I can slowly start to turn the barrel and loosen it. Now we can go ahead and disconnect our hook here, slides right out. Now the hook is able to work with chains of 3 8 to half an inch of thickness. So just keep that in mind with what kind of chain you're gonna use with the hooks. Now we're gonna set it back up. So I'm gonna pull the chain as tight as I can to get it to go through one of these links. So the link's gonna slide in there into the hook, just like that. Now it's gonna be kind of loose now. I think that's as tight as I can get. Let me try again. Slide out of there. Yeah, that's as, that's as tight as we're gonna get it right here, but that's okay, because I'm gonna come back with the handle and start tying it down. So it's gonna pull from these two sections of the chains and pull them together, which is gonna pull that side tight and pull this side tight. See how much it moves right now. It's not gonna be moving at all here in a second. So much like before, we went to go loosen it, except this time we're flipping the handle around the reverse way. So it's gonna bring the barrel up so that I can slide that into place. Get that engaged right there, and then I'm gonna put one hand here on the barrel and kind of start ratcheting it. You can see how it's pulling those two ends of the chains together. Those hooks are slowly coming in towards the center, towards the barrel. And I'm keeping one hand on the barrel, just keep it from it spinning, because when it starts off a little loose, you do need to help it a little bit. But once it gets going, you see it's getting tighter. I'm not, I'm not needing to do that. They're starting to catch now, it's getting real tight. And 
Just to check. Oh yeah, see? I can't get that chain to move now. Now with it tightened up as much as it is, now we can come back and get our jam nut, put that back into place. I would tighten down with your hand and then maybe come back with a wrench and give it a quarter turn, just get it nice and tight because that's going to keep that from backing out on you. If you were to hit some bumps or something and the chain does move a little bit, it won't back it out and loosen it. So that's what that's there for. And now, with that in place, you can just go ahead and flip the switch and remove the handle. And what's nice about that is that bulky handle is now out of the way and also it's tightened down. The only way to loosen it is to use this handle. So it really can't be messed with in this state. You can just throw this back in the toolbox and your stuff's all tied down. We saw how easy it was to get the chains installed and get our load tied down and even to take it all apart and take the chains back off. That's uh, the ease of the ratcheting mechanism. I really like that. It feels safer. You can get it really tight and it's easy. It didn't take me that long compared to the snap binders and that's like a lever like system that you would throw down and I get a lot of tension on there but that's the problem that's where it gets dangerous is because you got to break that tension so you're gonna have to use another bar to do that and they can get kind of dangerous I don't like that this was far easier and less time consuming just to use the rationing mechanism to get it nice and tight Look at the chain binder a little closely. You see it's got the red paint and it's already scraped off. We've probably loosened and tightened this about 10 times today and it's already losing some of the paint, but that's okay. I'm sure you didn't expect the paint to last a very long time on here. As long as it holds the chains tight, it's gonna work just fine. It's not gonna affect how you use it. Now you have a grade 70 steel here on the outside hooks, which is gonna be better than a grade 43. It's gonna be stronger. It's also gonna just hold up and have a higher weight capacity too. So these are gonna be really heavy duty, just like what you need to tie something like this down. With the grade 70 steel hooks here, its weight capacity is gonna be 15,000 pounds. So that's the safe working load limit. So just keep that in mind with whatever you wanna tie down, but also look at the chains you're using too and go with the lowest number. So whatever the safe working load limit, let's say the chains are a little bit lower than the hooks, I would go by that rather than this. Overall, I was really impressed with the ratcheting style, especially with their movable handle. It's going to save us a lot of space. You see there's not a lot of clutter there. The handle's out of the way. Also, it can't be messed with, so nobody can loosen or tighten it in this state. I can store this somewhere else. It keeps everything nice and neat. And it was easy to tighten up and take back down, so I really like these. I think they're going to be really good for hauling big equipment like this and just getting it tied down quickly and removed quickly whenever you get to your destination. Well, thanks for hanging out, and I hope this helped.